an edit check can be created uh, specific to any data set by clicking on the database and then selecting the menu file new edit check in this case it will have lots of templates that you can generate based upon the data that's been selected you can click for uh, generating the header for example this is the logic in SAS code um, program header and then you can also click on the automatically generated code to start the data step for the edit check so in this example let's say there were uh, errors in the logic and I was going to put out an error message here um, but normally this logic will check the values of the data and then generate the error message accordingly this is just an example you can do other things such as um, setting the status which is um, managed here by clicking on the uh, status uh, macro here so in this example once I've created the check I would click OK to save it. It saves this inside a program which then will be inserted associated with that particular um, database within the, this, this hierarchy. Uh, now the hierarchy is organized by um, projects and studies and modules as you can see here. So in this example we just created a new edit check. Um, we just called it sample edit check but you can rename that. And as you can see here, these are the attributes to it. To go ahead and execute it, you go to the tools and select execute edit check. And um, you can schedule for the edit check to be run overnight or repeated as the data gets updated. Or you can just click on um, OK, which means that it will execute the edit check um, right now at the moment. Now, if there's an error, which there is since we created that message it will automatically create a query a query is a, a tracking mechanism as you can see the icon noted here where it will send an email to uh, the owners of the data and it will also um, allow you to track the problems in this case you can create a query manually or on um, this example a query is created automatically as you can see here, the query um, is related to this database, and this is the message that's generated from the program that uh, was the edit check that we executed, where it found some um, an error was found was what the message that we put in. Now it automatically also generates an email message that's sent out, so the recipient of whoever the owner of the data can then review and see what happened in the log or the summarize log of that edit check and they can then investigate and resolve. Once resolved, the status of the edit check could be changed and then um, resolved and closed out. But this is how an edit check can automatically generate a query to help manage the quality of a database.